Hello everyone. Today I have a camcorder unboxing for you. So as you may know from my previous Rode Pro Mic um, video, that I'm using a Panasonic TM900. I liked it so much that um, that I now do multicam setups, and I uh, went with getting more of these uh, TM900s. In fact, this unboxing is actually filmed on one, just to give you an idea of the quality. So, this came in the mail today. And I'll just uh, show you around the box. This has um, three CMOS chips, one for every color. Um, it has the hybrid um, stabilization system. It also uh, does 1920 by 1080 at uh, 16 frames a second progressive. So I'll go ahead and unbox that now, show you what you get. So in the box you do get Panasonic's um, HD Writer AE 3.0 I'd imagine this is for the uh, uh, video editing. Um, I use Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, so uh, this won't be used. You get the manual. I have seen people say there isn't a paper manual, but it um, obviously there is. And this has all the languages in it too. Okay. You get a lens hood a remote control you also get this is component and composite cables um, and it connects to a proprietary end uh, right into the camera Half your charging system. This is the part that plugs into the wall. I'm in the US, so I have a US plug. Here's your other half, the power brick itself. You also get a battery, quite small. You get about an hour to an hour and a half with this. They do make a bigger one, but this will do me for now. You get the cold shoe adapter. This just goes into the side of the camera and um, will allow you to add on microphones, lights, whatever will uh, go in with a cold shoe. You also get this thing. This is a stylus. I guess you could call it that. It's for poking the screen. Um, if you're wearing gloves or if you don't want to do it yourself, I'll probably lose this in a week. And before getting to the camera, the bottom of the box, you also have a USB. Looks like a mini USB. Okay. Now for the camera itself. So here is the Panasonic TM900. And um, it's a 35 mil wide uh, lens. Um, on the side you do have your camera function. This will allow you to uh, change the focus, white balance, aperture, and um, <clears throat> um, there's one other thing I can't recall at the moment. Um, it'll allow you to do that manually with this wheel here. Okay. On the back you have a viewfinder and the record button. On the side you have your DC in. Okay. Right there. I believe the older cameras had an external battery charger. This does not come with one. <clears throat> you have your cold shoe adapter that goes in right there 
Okay. Your cold shear release. Um, and here is your external microphone and headphones to monitor the live sound. In the front, you have your IR port for the camera, your automatic lens cap that, uh, that shuts as soon as the camera goes off. You also have your built-in flash. Um, on the top, <clears throat> sorry guys, you have your zoom, you have your auto manual switch, you have uh, the hybrid iOS feature, your camera, your surround sound 5.1 channel. Here is, um, you can review movies, you can take a movie, and you can set in picture mode. And of course, on the bottom, you have your standard tripod mount. So on the inside, you actually slide your battery this way. So you do have to uh, remove the LCD, or open it I should say. Um, in here, you have your power on and off, your 60p setting. If you switch this down, you have your HDMI out, your USB out. This is the component composite out. And you also have your SD card. Also, this is your fan grill. This camera does get hot. It does require a fan. Um, I have actually heard um, videos where if you're using surround sound, the fan noise will trickle over. Uh, you can hear it. Um, just one thing to be aware of, if you're using a, a external mic, that'll take it away. But some of you, if you don't have the money to afford a mic, um, just something to be aware of. Usually it only happens in really quiet places, but, you know, you can still hear it. The screen itself has um, zoom and zoom out. This will also function as volume when reviewing, and you also have your record. The screen itself is a touch screen. It will let you navigate through several menus and uh, so on. Um, so now I'll boot it up and uh, show you guys um, what it's like.